Welcome back to another quick two minute tutorial. My name is Nick Foy, the founder of asknickfoy.com. And this video, we're gonna be showing you how to create an archive page or a WordPress page that has all of your blog posts listed out on one page. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is go in here to the plugins page. So come in your WordPress dashboard all the way down here to where it says plugins, click on that. And then we're gonna to need to click on add new. So we'll go ahead and open up a new page. And there's a plugin that we're looking for. It's right here in mine already. It's called Clean My Archives. So on the add plugins page, we're gonna type in Clean My Archives, hit enter, and it's gonna pull that plugin up. So here's what it looks like. It's by Justin Tadlock. You can go ahead and click install now. Once it gets done installing, there's gonna be a blue button that says activate. So you can click on that. And then now it's gonna be activated here in my WordPress plugins page. So it says a plugin that displays a full archive of posts by month and year with this short code. So it gives you the short code right here. So all we're gonna do is copy this and then click Control C to copy it. And then we're gonna come over here into a new WordPress page. So if we go under pages and you go here to add new, it's gonna bring up this add new page. We can give it a title like archives and then we can fix the URL permalink to whatever we want it to be. So I might call it, you know, archives, click OK. And then down here in the body area, you want to paste in that short code. And then what you can do is click on the preview tab or you can hit save draft or publish. But if you want to preview it first to make sure it's the right plugin for you, click preview and it's going to open up a preview page that looks like this. So you can see in month by month, it shows what date the posts were published. So I've got a pretty consistent schedule here. Every 10th, 20th, and 30th, I publish a new blog post on the under30wealth.com blog. But you can scroll through here and see all of the articles that you've posted every single month since the blog's been live. So again, if you're interested, you could check out under30wealth.com and read all of these blog articles. I've got my archives page now set up. So that's it for this quick tutorial on how to create an archives page. There are other plugins out there as well. If you go to the add new plugin page, you could type in archives and there should be a bunch of different plugin options that come up. But clean my archives is the one that I use and that's what it looks like. This is how it lays it out for you in chronological order from your most recent posts that you've recently published. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. Make sure to give our channel a subscribe so that you don't miss the latest uploads. And we have playlists that have more WordPress tutorials, plugin reviews you can check out as well if you look around our channel. Thanks for being here and I'll see you guys in the next video.